2019, an online quiz competition organized by the Sports Committee of SRCC. First of all, I would like to congratulate all the participants for making it to the second round of this event. Since you all made it till here, we know that you're a true cricket enthusiast and we hope that you enjoy this round as well. Moving on, the second round of Sports Saint is a live quiz round and instructions are as follows. The second round has five sub rounds. Each participant or a team will be presented with a question in each round and they are required to answer the same. Therefore, each participant or a team will get five questions that they need to answer. The team or the participant will be given 15 seconds to answer the question, starting from when the moderator asks the question. If the participant or team is unable to answer the question presented to them, the question will not be transferred to the next team and the next team will be presented with a new question. The team which answers the most questions correctly will be declared as the winners. In case of a draw, the team who answered the questions in less time than the other would be given bonus points. The decision of the committee will be final and binding. If there are any queries, you can clarify them right now. Okay, so best uh, of luck. Just a second, I'm sorry. Uh, for the team, that participant will get 15 seconds to answer the question. It will The timer will be uh, starting after the moderator speaks the question. So the timer will start from after the moderator finish, finishes speaking. And then in that 15 seconds, you guys have to answer. And if you're still having doubts, then you can just unmute yourself and ask. Uh, excuse me, this one asks that we'll get 15 seconds after the question is has been narrated or the moment the uh, the or whosoever will start narrating the question. No, like after the question is has been read, then you'll get 15 seconds after that to answer. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So best of luck, everyone. And over to you, Arush. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, just one second. Uh, one important thing, guys, uh, you have to turn your cameras on at all times. It was written in the instructions manual, so we request you to keep your cameras on. This goes for everyone, all the participants. Thank you. Go ahead, Arsh. Uh, so, without further ado, we'll start with the quiz. So, we start with the first sub round. And the first question is for team A. Uh, the question is, the player who has only two toes on his left foot as he met with an accident in his childhood and is also named two toes due to this, due to the falling in his dressing room. Uh, it's Martin Guptil A. You're absolutely correct. Uh, so I, uh, the, has the spreadsheet been updated? Okay, so I'll move ahead. The next question is for Team B. The South African legend holds the record for being the fastest person in the 100-meter race in South Africa Junior Athletics, was once the captain of the South Africa Junior Rugby team, was shortlisted for the national hockey team, selected in the junior national cricket team, represented, represented South Africa's Junior Davis Cup tennis team, held six South Africa swimming records in his school, was also a champion in National Badminton Under-19 tournament, brilliant in studies receiving medals from Nelson Mandela, played golf at various levels, and was also a rock star who released his own album. It's B. A. B. Uh, yes, you're absolutely correct. Uh, so the next question is for Team C. A batsman is given out LBW on the field, but he reviews and in the meantime, the ball has trickled away to the boundary. The umpire spots an inside edge and overturns the decision. What is the result? Your time starts now. Yeah, Arush, the time is up. Uh, time up. 
so team c uh, this question will not be passed on and the correct answer is it is treated as a dot ball all right so we'll move on the question I for d just a second i think we don't have team c so um, now don't say team c we don't have all right so so team c is not present all right uh, so moving on uh, team for the question for team d uh, in what time should an over be completed your time starts now so my answer is d 4 minutes uh no it's actually incorrect it is c 3 minutes so we'll move ahead with uh, team e uh, so the question for team e is the fastest to take 300 wickets for new zealand by matches is uh, tim saudi uh, no that's incorrect the correct answer is richard hadley all right so uh, continuing with team f uh, who was the first english cricketer to be fined for misconduct during a test match the time starts now a paul collingwood uh, no that's incorrect uh, the correct answer is b mike atherton so we are over with the first uh, sub round we'll be starting with the second sub round now so again the first question goes to team a Uh, i don't think that anybody would be able to reach this mark let alone emulate it even if somebody does he would be dead tired after it it was a gentleman's comment after becoming the first one to reach a certain cricketing mark who is the player and what was the mark uh, sachin tendulkar after scoring 100 centuries uh, no the answer is fred truman who made this comment after taking 300 test wickets all right so moving on uh, team b your question is uh, what is the most appropriate similarity between these bowlers dan van bung netherlands stuart broad england akila dhananjaya sri lanka and gaudi tok papua new guinea uh, they all have secured sixes six sixes in an over that's absolutely correct uh, so let's move on uh, team c is not here so we'll go to team d the next question is for team d i was one of the most colorful and controversial characters in the history of indian cricket i captained india in three tests in england during the 1930s and ensured my tenure would be remembered forever by sending lala amarnath back to india and ordered one of my openers to run the other out in a test i also used my personal wealth to get great cricketers like jack hobbs and herbert sutcliffe to play in india who am i your time starts now my answer is c ranjit singh ji uh no that's incorrect the correct answer is a maharaj kumar of vijayanagaram moving on uh the next question is for team e batsman is bowled of a no ball and both the bales fall off along with the leg stump the batsman attempts to run a single the wicket keeper collects the ball and hits the off stump knocking it out of the ground the batsman is out of his crease and the fielders appear for a run out what is the umpire dis- umpire's decision the time starts now uh, he will be declared out that's absolutely correct so uh, the next question is for team f Till, we, till which year underarm bowling was legal in cricket your time starts now is it 1991 uh no that's incorrect uh, the answer is uh, 1864 so uh, this this is the end of the second sub round uh, we'll move ahead to the third sub round uh the first question again being for team a uh who is the only player to score 100 runs by running in an odi innings time starts now uh virat kohli yes that's abs- that's absolutely correct uh the next question for team b in this round who was the first player to hit six sixes in an over the time starts now Herschel Gibbs. 
uh, no, that's incorrect. The correct answer is Garfield Sobers. Uh, so we'll be continuing with Team D in the next round. The question for Team D is: What pardon, pardon, go to garden was said by Dhawal Kulkarni to which player? Ricky Ponting, maybe? Uh, no, the answer is Matthew Wade. Uh, never mind. Uh, we'll moving. We'll be moving on to Team E for the next question. Uh, which test playing nation has the highest winning rate? The time starts now. Uh, Australia. Yes, that's absolutely correct. So the next question for Team F in this round: The Trinidad Calypso singer Lord Later Willard Harris once wrote a song in this gentleman's honor. A master technician, he also he is also the author of a book called Idols. In a nice gesture, a street in Wellington has been named after him. He is. Your time starts now. Sunil Gavaskar. Uh, yes, that's absolutely correct. So now uh, we'll be moving on with the next round. Uh, round three. Uh, so the first question again for Team A. Which wicketkeeper batsman took his uh, took his five first and last wicket with his bowling in the IPL? Uh, Adam Gilchrist. Yes, this is absolutely correct. Uh, moving on, question. The next question is for Team B. My answer also same, no difference. Which player said this? The time starts now. Sarfraz Khan. You are absolutely correct. Uh, we move on. The next question for Team D. Who became the first Test captain of Zimbabwe in 1992? The time starts now. I have no idea. We don't okay. The correct answer is David Huebner. Uh, we move on. Uh, the next question is for Team E. Identify the ex Indian cricket team's head coach in the given picture. I have no idea. Uh, so this is P. R. Man Singh. Who was India's head coach in the 1983 World Cup? Okay. Uh, the next question for Team F. Guess the cricketer using this picture. Yeah, time is up. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so the time's up. Uh, the correct answer for this is Elise Perry, the Australian uh, Australian cricketer. So this is the end of round. The this round, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, so just a second. Sorry, my internet lagged. I'll be sharing just in a second. So the next question from team A. Um, wait, uh, Arush, wait. Uh, so for all these rounds, I would like to tell the score. So team A has the total of 30. Team B also 30. Team uh, C wasn't present. Team D, 0. Team E, 20. And team F, 10. All right, that's good to hear. Uh, so moving on, uh, this final round will be an audio-visual round. So you have to listen to the audio and answer the questions, all right? So the first question goes to team A. The commentary played in the audio below belongs to which ICC event? Also mention the year. Arush, <laughs> I think we can't hear the audio, Arush. Uh, maybe try resharing. There's an option to share audio along with screen. I actually did that. I'll try again. Just give me a second. I'll do it again. Is it audio, audible now? Yeah, I think it is. Play it. 
just increase the volume i think the max volume i can go uh, is it the 2016 t20 world cup uh you need to finish it uh, you answered the question but it is not the t20 world cup in 2016 it is a uh, 2019 icc cricket uh, world cup 2014 2019 Okay. ICC Cricket World Cup. Uh, if you heard it full, uh, you would have realized. But I, I think that uh, you already have the answer. So the next question goes to Team B. Uh, this match was played in which ground? Your time starts now. Is it Lords? Uh, no, it's Headingley. It was the uh, like famous uh, Ashes oh, match wow. in which Ben Stokes <laughs> made a century. It was so, coming into my mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was a very interesting match, you know. Uh, so that's why we uh, added this. So the next question uh, goes to Team uh, D. Who was dismissed by this catch? Your time starts now. Uh, is it Virat Kohli? Uh, no, it is Andal Felukpayo. It was between. Uh, it, this was in the match between England and South Africa in the ICC Cricket World Cup 2019. So the next question is for Team E. Uh, okay, so identify this English cricketer who had also gotten suspended from international cricket due to the due to this incident. Uh, so the options are. Ben Stokes, Alex Hales, Jason Roy, and Stuart Broad. So I'll show you the video now. I hope it was clear. So your time starts now. Uh, I'll go with option B, Alex Hales. Uh, that's incorrect. The correct answer is option A, Ben Stokes. So the last question uh, goes to Team F. Uh, uh yeah. Identify the famous Indian wicketkeeper who's behind the stump commentary has all of our hearts. The time starts now. Is it M S Dhoni? Yes, that's absolutely correct. Uh, so with this, we come to an end of the uh, quiz round of this event. Uh, Sanvi, I hand it over back. Uh, Sanvi, sorry, Suhani, I hand it over back to you. Yeah, we hope that all of you enjoyed this event, and we will be announcing the results shortly. So please stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed the quiz round. Yeah, it was really great. Questions were also very nice. Yeah, the questions were really well framed. Thank you so much. So can we leave? We are announcing the results right now. We'll take some time. Okay, okay, sorry, sir.
Oh, hi, I'm sorry, guys. We have just another event lined up just after this. Uh, so I think we'll uh, announce the results in the group itself just after this event. Okay, so you'll get to know that who uh, about the results. So you guys can leave now. Thanks for joining and thanks for coming. Thank you so much. Okay. All the best. Thank Bye. You. मैंने टीम एफ को रिमूव कर दिया मेरे को एक दो चीजें बोलनी थी